Welcome to Xi Jinping Thought for a new era for socialism with Chinese characteristics. On this page, we can see it says, there is a great nation in the east of the world called China. Her name is the People's Republic of China. It's our mother country. We are all Chinese. Uncle Xi Jinping says, loving your country is the deepest and longest, most important emotion in your life. It's a person's basic morality, and it's how you become successful. See, actually what this is doing here is very important to pay attention to because what he's trying to do is replace Confucianism, which is filial piety, meaning that your parents are the reason that you're successful or your parents' guidance is the most important thing. Your future goals and ideals need to bond to the future of your country and tie your life together with your nation's fate. Be one with the people and contribute to the country. Keep in mind, this is for little kids, right? How smart ethnically Chinese people are because they invented paper and gunpowder through thousands of years of history. Again, introducing this whole idea that Chinese are superior to the rest of the world and that they deserve a special place on this world stage. Don't have second thoughts, just follow the CCP. And I kid you not, it literally translates to, don't think, don't think twice about it, just follow the party. 180 years ago, the Qing dynasty was so corrupt and China was getting bullied and people's lives were terrible and they were suffering. Our ancestors fought for our whole race to make it strong and blossom and revitalize. China just instituted Xi Jinping thought into the curriculum of elementary or primary school kids in China. So you hear about this Xi Jinping thought campaign a lot. I mean, I heard it when I was in China all the time. But if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like Chairman Mao's little red book. In fact, I have one of these little red books. I bought one when I was in China. And then I was gifted an English translated version from a family member. I guess they thought that I would really enjoy studying it in my spare time. Anyway, some of Chairman Mao's best quotes include, when there is not enough to eat, people starve to death. It is better to let half of the people die so that the other half can eat their fill. Well, it's back, except it's in app form. You see, government workers in China, and there's 90 million of them, by the way, they have to study Xi Jinping thought, which is Xi Jinping's dastardly little ideas that serve to boost his cult of personality. It doesn't stop at government workers, though. You might think, okay, yeah, those Communist Party officials, uh, those people that work in the Communist Party, they have to study that, but not the regular people. Not true. Xi Jinping thought the cult of personality has now entered classrooms. It is a mandatory subject in schools, all the way down to the elementary school level. The party is connected to people's hearts. Under the CCP's socialism with Chinese characteristics, the CCP is the core to Chinese leadership. The principle and mission is to give Chinese people happiness and to rebuild the whole Chinese race. There's a little quote from a kid. It says, my mom and dad say the CCP represents the people's basic fundamental interests. The CCP always stands on the people's side. Let's learn about the great CCP member stories. Stories about how CCP members sacrificed everything for the country. Next page, it says, Xi Jinping always thinks about the people. He always goes to people and he cares about how they live and he goes and visits minorities' homes, no matter rain or shine, you can always see him. The CCP party members never forget where they came from and they need to serve the people. To so always remember their mission and to breathe the same air with the people and face the same fate and to connect with their hearts. All of our hard work serves the people. On the next page it says, we are the CCP's successors. The first time you wear your little red handkerchief and you sing the Chinese youth 
pioneer team song. Every kid will feel so proud and honored. Do you remember when you became a young pioneer? Xi Jinping is very busy, but no matter how busy he is, he still joins our events and cares about our growth. <laughs> Sorry. Xi Jinping walks into school to come see us, hoping we can become better people and learn knowledge and build our body and solidify our base so one day we will become successful. This kid says, do you remember the main values of socialism? Let me quiz you. <laughs> That's a kid's dream, isn't it? This is the last page I'll translate. We need to love the CCP. We need to love our country and we need to love our people. We need to contribute our strength to build the country. Communist ideology and communist principles and all that kind of stuff has always existed in China. The problem is, is that it's rampant now and it's surrounded by the spirit and image of one. It's yeah. just become a very, very toxic and poisonous place. And it's not the fault of the people because look at what they're forced to study. This is a new era of how to re-brainwash people in the style of Jeremy Hunt. Yes, sí, ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir.